All right, so I've got a 2014 Ford F-150 XLT. I think this is the King Ranch edition. And the complaint here is that the blower motor is stuck on high now. I've got it on right now, the, the head unit, and I've got this out because I, I thought I had an issue with the head unit, but I don't. So let me shut this off. You can hear the blower motor is just going constant. Now this is the control unit. This is manually controlled. There's a manual control, uh, what they call remote mounted. Um, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I'm kind of on short on time. But here's our module um, for the HVAC and that lives up, up, up in here, okay? Um, <clears throat> down here you can see I'm tied in and basically where I'm tied in is I'm tied into the blower motor control unit or mo resistor module or whatever you want to call it but that's actually like the blower meter uh, blower motor speed control right there that white guy now I'm tied in Let's see, so our red trace is our control wire, which is going to be pulse width modulated to control the blower speed, okay, coming from the, um, uh, the HVAC module, okay, so the red trace is that, um, that is a, oh, let's see here, let's go to, wiring diagram here yeah so this white violet this variable blower motor control that is the um, pulse width modulated control from the HVAC module itself to control this blower motor speed you can see the blower motor relay up here okay now the control side of that relay on this side here is going to get its ground from the actual module okay um, and what that's going to do is it's going to close obviously close the, the switch side and provide power down to our blower motor as well as our blower our blower motor speed control um, module or resistor module if you will okay so what this thing does is it pulse width modulates this control unit and that's going to vary the um it's going to vary the resistance for the ground side of that motor okay and you can see here we got a constant ground okay so the constant ground is a black white i believe yep and then the ground side of that um, blower motor going into the resistor or the speed control unit is a yellow blue so the setup, um, try to do the best I can here. Um, let's see, I've got my green trace is going to, my green trace is gonna be on this yellow green, which is gonna be a constant, should be a constant battery feed coming from the, the relay, right? Our white yellow, or our white violet uh, speed control, pulse width modulated from the module, that's gonna be our red trace. The yellow blue. Uh, yellow blue is which one? That's going to be our blue trace, which is going to be you know anywhere from zero to 14 volts with the vehicle running. Okay, and then our obviously our um, our black white is going to be our yellow trace. So let me get up the scope, and if you take a look, you can see that right now we have no pulse width modulation from the um, module okay on the red trace you can see we're getting about 130 millivolts on our ground and that's loaded and I checked that with the test light and it does light obviously and you can see we're getting about 13.9 on our um, green trace okay and there is that so that two 2.04 volts our 2.04 volts is the yellow blue okay 
and that's the blue trace, okay? So the yellow blue is the blue trace. So we've got our power feed, we've got our ground. Um, we are getting about two volts and you can hear the blower motor is working, but no pulse width modulation. Now, the reason we're not pulse width modulation is because I don't have the control unit on. So let me, um, let me turn this, this control unit on. So there, I just switched it on. And now you're gonna see that pulse width modulation start, okay? Now, mind you, I'm in the lowest setting on the, the switch here, okay? So now watch as I slowly increase this, and you're gonna see that pulse width modulation um, slowly expand in duration. And uh, what we should be seeing is a, um, this voltage as I go up to the highest blower motor speed, right? Our blue trace should come, uh, should go pretty much uh, to zero volts, right? So right now, if I'm in the lowest setting, what I would expect to see here is a very um, is a very high voltage, and I'm not seeing that. That's why the blower motor is running really almost like it's on high speed. So now watch. I'm gonna slowly increase. Watch the red trace and the blue. Okay, there's one click, two. See how it's getting longer on the on the red trace, three. Four. See how it's just slow. It's it's increasing the pulse width. And what this is telling me is that my module is not the problem, and that my switch is working. And there you can see no change in the blue, and I'm on max. Okay, and you can see how the pulse width went to, you know, it maxed out at what is that? Um, 3.72 volts now I don't know if that's normal if that's what it's supposed to be but as I decrease all right and I come back down and all the way to nothing we're just getting that slow pulse okay so there's nothing wrong with the control unit. There's nothing wrong with the module. We got a problem with the speed control. Now, let me try disconnecting it and see what happens. And she is cooking, all right. All right, I just disconnected it. And now you can see 14 volts on both sides on the green and the blue, and again, that would mean I got 14 here, 14 here, which is normal, that's what we should have because the blower, meter, uh, the blower motor speed control unit gives the ground to the yellow-blue, right? Which is our blue trace. So, um, our module is on, and we're not getting any pulse-width modulation at all. Why? Interesting. So with that thing disconnected, we're not gonna have any pulse width modulation. I just plugged it back in. And you can see our pulse width is there again. And as I increase it, shut off the control unit and the pulse width goes away. So, <clears throat> we've got a bad blower motor speed control unit. So, I'm gonna get one from Ford and then we're gonna check this out. All right, so I got the blower motor speed control out or the resistor module, if you wanna call it that. Now, I looked on this for, for markings from Motorcraft or from Ford and I'm not seeing any markings from Ford, so I do see a part number here. And this thing looks new, guys. I don't know. This might be an aftermarket part. So let me look this part number up real quick. Well, I did a quick Google search, and um, I'm thinking we're dealing with an aftermarket part because I'm pretty sure Ford would put their stamp on here. Um, that's our problem. So I'm getting a Ford one. And we're going to recheck this and see what we got. 
So I hope everyone was tracking what I was talking about there now. So when we were on that scope, um, did I lose my ground? Yeah. Um, anyways, what this, that resistor, or that blower motor speed control is supposed to do is it's supposed to vary the ground side of that blower motor, um, the voltage, you know, just like a resistor would. Uh, it doesn't use a resistor. I don't know how the internals work, but it's like it receives that pulse width modulation from the module and it's smart, you know, so it, it varies the resistance based on that pulse width modulation and it's not doing it. And looking at that part, looks like it's been replaced, but not with the factory part. So we're going to prove that that was the issue once we get the new one, obviously. Now, I've checked everything that I can check, guys, and I'm not condemning a freaking head unit, and I'm not con or a control unit, and I'm not condemning the module because, as far as I can tell, everything from the module and the control unit is working just fine, and that is our that is our guy. Now, obviously, our blower motor is working. Um, <clears throat> it's just not varying the speed, and probably because it's a Duralast or whatever aftermarket part that was put in it when they did the blower motor. I know this thing got a new blower motor. I know that. Um, because I was given the history on it, but as far as the um, speed control unit goes, I don't know. Um, I asked my service writer, do you know any, you know, can you ask the customer? And the customer doesn't know. Oh, okay, well, that's great. So we'll get the new part and then we'll check it against uh, what we were getting, okay? All right, I got the Ford blower motor control unit, the official Ford one on now. Obviously, we're on right now, so I'm shut her off. <clears throat> All right, so with it off, you can obviously you can hear that the blower motor isn't running anymore, so it's fixed. But um, just to give you an idea of what my setup is here, so you can see that we're getting 6.74 volts on our um, yellow trace. Now our yellow trace is hooked into the ground side of the blower motor so the yellow trace is that um, yellow green yellow green heavy that comes from the blower motor to the um, blower motor speed control unit you know and it's waiting for you know that resistant that that uh, <clears throat> that ground right and basically this changes and varies the resistance so the green trace is to our control wire from our module. Um, white violet, I think it was, and then I've just got the amp clamp on. Um, the power feed, so that we can get an amperage measurement on this blower motor. Now, <clears throat> I don't have the blower motor on, so let me go ahead and turn it on. First setting, I'll, I'll put it on, I'll put it on low. This is, this is low. And I want you to guys look. Okay, let me pause that. Stop, zoom. And let's take a look here. So if you see, there's our, that's, that's the pulse width modulated um, control from the module, the green trace. The blue is amperage, and we're pulling about 3.9 amps, okay? 100 millivolts per amp, <clears throat> so about 3.9 amps, just under 4 amps. And the yellow is the pulsed ground, and you can see how that mirrors our pulse width modulation, okay? So that's what we should have been seeing before. We were not seeing that before. So <clears throat> let's crank this speed up a little bit and we'll look at this blower motor uh, amperage in a little bit more detail here, but let's just increase this. And let me put a little more time on the screen. Um, a two milliseconds, so we'll just go back up to a five second screen so you guys can see it. Now I'm gonna increase the pulse width by just bringing up the speed. And you'll see as I bring it up, that on time, and that's max right there, guys. Okay, <clears throat> voltage. Let's see, we're getting about <clears throat> so about four, 
4.36 and about 20 amps. Bringing it back down. Ten amps, seven point five amps, and back to low. Pretty sweet. So let's take a look at those. Uh, let's take a look at that amperage waveform in more detail. So uh, let's see here around low. So let's go to a two millisecond screen. Um, we're gonna leave it on five. We'll just shut these off. Well, actually, you know what? We can leave those on. And let's put her on full bore once. <clears throat> Stop it. Zoom. So you can see, I'm on a five volt scale. So that is our motor segments right there. Hold on a second, let me get out of that. So I want to show you what a good blower motor looks like. Now that's full bore. Um, trying to think here, how can I get more detail on this screen? So if I want more detail on that motor, what I've done is I've AC coupled it, okay, and I put it on a 500 millivolt scale, and now you can see we're going to get a lot more detail, so let me stop it. Again, I'm on full bore. And there you go. So, this would be a full event here, I would imagine. Um, I really don't like the look of the blower motor either. Um, but then again, you know, they put an aftermarket blower motor in this thing, so it is where it is, guys. You can see if we zoom out, as we zoom out, you'll be able to see that motor in the blue trace there. Um, let me record. And we'll put a little bit more time on the screen. All right, so there you can see it. I'm going to bring the speed down. And again, we're still AC coupled on the amp clamp. And as I bring the speed down, all the way down down and that's low pretty wild <clears throat> so we're done it's fixed <clears throat> i'm shipping it just thought i'd share that thanks for watching guys take care see you on the next one